Hey guys, my name is Rick. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've had several subscribers ask questions about what I use to line the inside of my propane forge. Um, and there are several options and uh, I can understand why they're asking questions. I had a lot of questions when I was building my forge and looking into this. So I thought I'd shoot a video, share my experience and hope that helps you. All right, so let's get started. Okay, guys, when I was building my propane forge, I looked into three different options in terms of linings. The first one I looked at were these hard concrete fire bricks. I looked into uh, these ceramic insulating fire bricks. And I also looked into this ceramic blanket material called uh, kale wool. Let's go through each. Okay, so the first one is these hard concrete fire bricks. They're hard, they're heavy, uh, they're made out of concrete. Um, they are good up to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit and they're hard to cut. One thing you have to have is a grinder with a masonry cutoff wheel and uh, that's what I use to cut these, uh, these fire bricks. Now, where did I find them? I found these at Lowe's, Amazon.com, as well as fireplace stores. They're used commonly for fireplaces, lining the inside of fireplaces or outside pizza ovens as an example. So they're readily available and they're relatively inexpensive. The cost of one of these bricks was $2.50. So that's pretty cheap. The second choice I looked at were these ceramic insulating fire bricks. These are soft, they're light, they're made out of ceramic. You can cut these with any uh, woodworking tools, very easy to cut. Um, and they're good up to about 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Where did I find these? Uh, I, find these I found these in uh, pottery stores. I called around to all the local pottery stores to see if they carried them, and, and sure enough, they did. Um, these are used in, in pottery kilns, right? The cost of these bricks at the pottery stores, I found, were $6 each. I've also found them on Amazon.com, but the cost of them there uh, with shipping are close to $15 to $17 each. So I went with the local option and uh, went over to the pottery store and picked some up. The third option that I looked at, like I indicated, was kale wool. Now, this is soft, it's light, it's a ceramic blanket material. Uh, you can cut this with a utility knife and it's good up to about 2600 degrees. If you, you know, the feel of it is much like that fiberglass insulation, that pink fiberglass insulation that you have up in your attics. And, uh, but it's, it's not fiberglass, it's ceramic, made out of ceramic fibers. And uh, where I was able to find these, I found these at, uh, on Amazon, but also on uh, eBay and they're readily available there. These are you know, typically used in any high temperature uh, forges as well as kilns uh, you know, across a number of industrial applications. So, so let's contrast these, uh, these three options. From a cost perspective, you can see they're all different sizes and shapes here. And so what I ended up doing is converting everything to uh, cubic inches and then determine what the cost is per cubic inch. So uh, the first one, this one, this hard fire brick, this was the cheapest at five cents a cubic inch. These are $2.50 each, um, which works out to five cents per cubic inch. Uh, these ceramic fire brick, these are six cents per cubic inch. They're about the same exact size here, but they're uh, double the width about two and a half inches wide. So yes, $6 each, but it's a little bit more, not a lot more than these hard fire bricks. And then the third option, these, this is a 12 by 24 inch by one inch roll. And uh, that worked out to be 10 cents per cubic, uh, cubic inch. So five cents, six cents, 10 cents a cubic foot. Now, what's not included in the price of this uh, ceramic blanket is the cost for the coating. You have to coat these 
when you put them in your forge. This fiber, this fiberized, this ceramic fiber, once it's heated, uh, can you know quickly deteriorate and give off uh, dust particles, ceramic fiber dust particles, which are very hazardous to your health. They're actually a carcinogen. So you have to coat these. And you can coat these with satanite or what's called HT100. HT100 is available. It's a in a pint size and it's about $75 a pint. So it's very expensive to coat this. And um, but you have to coat it in order to lock in those fibers and uh, from the heat. So this is by far the most expensive option and uh, this is by far you know the least expensive. But that's not the only thing to consider. You have to consider efficiency. Now what I mean by efficiency, efficiency is really about the the amount or the, or the, the PSI you have to run your propane burners so how much fuel you're using as you're as you're as you're working, uh, but also at what temperature within the forge uh, can you achieve? Can you achieve uh, forging temperatures, which is about 15 to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, or can you achieve welding temperatures, which is north of 2000 degrees Fahrenheit? So efficiency is important, and what I'm finding is that this is good, but the hard, these hard concrete bricks, they don't uh, reflect heat back into the forge. What they uh, do is they absorb the heat. So amongst these three, this is the, the least efficient. The next level of efficiency is these ceramic insulating fire bricks. Now they're insulating because they reflect back. These don't absorb the heat. They reflect them back in the forge and therefore they're more efficient and help you to achieve uh, some higher temperatures and or uh, run at a lower PSI from your, from your burners. And then of course, you've got this KO wall with the coating, the HT100 coating or Satanite coating, and that is by far the most efficient. What I've seen uh, on, uh, other guys do is they line the inside of their forge with about two inches th of, this, of this material, and then they certainly coat it and uh, in those types of forges, those propane forges, I'm seeing them get to welding temperature. I don't see many, if any, get to welding temperature with these bricks. So this is probably you know, the least efficient, a little more efficient, the most efficient uh, when it comes to efficiency. So the highest cost uh, but, and the most efficient. This is the, this is the cheapest, uh, but the least efficient. What have I ended up using for the most part is these hard fire bricks. Um, they're cheap, they work, they help protect the, the lining, the, the inside of my forges, both uh, my coal forge and my uh, propane forge. And uh, this, uh, I might get a little bit more efficiency, but uh, really I don't think it's worth it uh, for me. Six bucks uh, a brick is, is just a lot. And, uh, and because of the health risks that the KO will uh, poses, uh, I've elected not to use that uh, at all. I've had cancer when I was a kid and, uh, and I've decided that uh, I just didn't want to risk using that. Okay guys, that's it. Listen, I hope that was helpful. Uh, keep the questions coming. I'll do my best to try to answer them. And uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Always like to hear your comments and, uh, and we'll be back again here soon. So thanks guys.